Supply. It's the, the Naked Nurture um, Bohemia Curl, and it's the Wet and Wavy. So when you wet it, it curls up like this. Um, I had this hair in about three weeks now. I'm only making this review because I'm taking it down like tomorrow because I'm getting my hair done Saturday. I mean, well, today is Friday, so I'm taking it down tomorrow. I'm getting my hair done Sunday. Um, so I wanted to do a review on this hair before I take it down because I've been saying I was gonna do it, but why not do the review on how it looks at the very end so um this hair it came with about seven pieces it's unprocessed hair like if you ever had like um any of naked's hair they it just come in a um a big pack and it's like um bundles so i think i think i have the 16 two six I want to say 216 or 14. Let me stop lying because I don't remember what the inches was. Because I know one of them was, I think it's either 218s or 16, 216s, 214s, and a 12. So this little closure right here at the top which my hair is like super duper old so you know it looks terrible but like this little closure piece that's at the top i think was the 12 inch and then two 16s 14 to 18 now it doesn't look like 18 inches but i'm guessing like when you flat earn it or something it's supposed to but yeah when i first got this hair i loved it i was like oh my god like this is what i was looking for because i was going out of town I never went, but I was going out of town and I wanted to get some hair where if I was to go swimming, I don't have to worry about, you know, having to blow dry my hair and, you know, whether or not I get tangled or nothing like that. So I just wanted to get, you know, the hair that waves up when you wet it because it, it lasts longer. Um, the texture of the hair is like really soft. Now it's not as soft as it was because it has products in it. I'm going to show you what kind of products I use when I'm done. But it was like really soft. Like we first got it just like, oh my God. Like it was just so like fluffy. You know, you could comb your fingers through it. And then, you know, it was just like really soft. And you know, it was like freaking amazing when I first got it. Um, shedding. When I first got it. And now it doesn't shed. Like um, I never combed it or brushed it or anything like that because I didn't want to lose the wave pattern or the, the curls. Like I didn't want the curls to like not curl back up anymore or you know lose this original texture. So I never like um, brushed it or combed it like that when I was you know washing it or shampooing it. I just always just ran my fingers through it. I take like you know and just rub my fingers through it when I um, shampooed it and stuff. So. It didn't shed like if you were to get up and then you got you know hair on the back of your shirt. It didn't do that. But when I did wash it, um, when I first got it, it was just like little, you know, if you run your finger through it and while it, you know you're shampooing it and then it's tangling up now. But you know it'll be like hair, you know, on your hands like when it's wet when you're detangling it and stuff. Uh, but now it's just kind of getting out of control. <laughs> It's getting like really out of control now because I would like be washing my hair and stuff in the shower and then I'll just like have so much hair in my hand and it just it be it's so aggravating like it aggravates my soul. That's like water one reason why I'm like ready to get rid of this hairstyle because um every day I wet it and if it's down I wet it. But if I just like throw it up in like a pineapple bun because I wear it like this a lot of times when I'm at work. I'll just like throw it up in this little thing, you know, and I'll wear it up like, you know, I can't do it now, but you know, I'll wear it up like that uh, when I'm at work, but like when I'm just going out somewhere, going outside and stuff, I'll have it down 
and when I wash my hair it just gets so irritating the hair be like wrapped around my four fingers I will have to like rinse the soap off to like get it off the hair and then like take the hair and just like ugh and I had to like drop it or something like or I like sit it on the side and I have like a pile of hair by the time I'm done and mind you like I'm not even brushing I'm just rubbing my fingers through it and so it just like it, it's starting to get a little ridiculous now um I did get it from the beauty supply I only bought one pack because it fit the whole head and I spent $158 on her to be exact and I didn't buy nothing else with the hair I just bought the hair so it was about $158 the last time I had bought some naked hair it wasn't the wet and wavy kind look got shade right there too I don't think I did with that but last time I had bought some naked hair it was just like the regular straight hair I spent it was like $99 on it like flat like so it was like a hundred dollars and so um yeah so it was kind of more it was more expensive than the regular hair that I bought from them um what else so how I revive my curls when I shampoo my hair I use this argan oil shampoo and it smells so good oh my god at first I was kind of mad that I bought this because I bought it for Kevin and you know, my fiance I bought it for him because he like you know doing this little wave thing trying to get his waves to come back and stuff and the guy was telling him like to buy some argan oil shampoo and when I went to the beauty supply I'm like eight dollars for this like I have a really big thing of trust in me you know with the pump top and it was I don't even know how much it was but damn like eight dollars for this but it smells so good I'm glad I did buy it though because it just smells so good like I can't wait to take my hair down so I can wash my real hair with this and then I use this curl enhancing smooth smoothie what I'm talking about silk protein and neem oil so it's for thick curly hair and it's anti frizz moisture and shine so I use this you know like after I get the shower and I dry my hair off I will put this on and that's what it looks like so it has coconut oil in there as well but I you know I put this on my you know, curls you know to give it some moisturizer so it don't look so like dull because you know some hair can look really dried out and then I use this shea butter this cancel shea butter which is almost gone but this is the leave-in conditioner I just usually I, don't, I just leave it in there I don't like put it in there and rinse it out I just use this and I leave it in there and the only reason why I use this is because like um usually if you have like curls and you want it to stay um wet looking because I like it when it looks wet like because this hair can get like really big you know but I like it when it's like you know wet looking so I put the um conditioner on there to keep it this way and it just like keep this on it so that's the only reason why it kind of is not as soft as it would be if I didn't have product in it but when I don't have product in it it like it poofs up and it gets like really curly and stuff but um it don't it's not cute to me that way um so would I recommend this hair? I do recommend this hair. I'm not I'm not gonna lie, I won't say oh don't get it because you know it's horrible and stuff like that. I do like the hair. I would get it again, like if I was to, you know, um go somewhere and I needed this kind of hair, I will get it because it cause it's convenient to get it at the beauty supply. But if I really wanted to invest in something I had time, I would just go online and order some um wet and wavy hair that which was what I was going to do in the beginning. I was going to go online, AliExpress, and um, you know, order some wet and wavy hair. But it just out of nowhere, I just was like, "Fuck it, I'm going to the beauty supply," <laughs> and I got this hair. So I won't say don't get it, but this is like um, one of those hairstyles where it's like you can only deal with it for so long and then it's like time to go and everybody's like oh no why you why you taking it and i'm just like because it's it's time for a change and i didn't i never flat ironed it i flat ironed it <laughs> i never flat ironed it so this is like the net how it 
looks if you don't flat iron the hair. I didn't flat iron it because I was scared that it won't curl back up. So this is how it is. Hope y'all can see that because I can't tell. So if you like this video, thumbs it up. Um, comment if you have any more questions because I don't know if I went over everything or if you want to know something else about this hair, let me know. Um, yeah, so don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribing and see you next time.